Why would we want to learn about them? There's two main reasons. The first one being, it's how humans get their energy. The second one is because glucose is a carb and it is the basic source of energy for all living things. With that being said, without carbs, there would be no life on earth. Carbs are grouped in three classes. Those three classes are monosaccharides, oligosaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are the simplest sugars and serve as the building blocks of larger molecules. An example of this would be glucose. This bag here represents one grain of sugar. And another example of glucose could just be as, sim as simple as an apple. The second group of carbohydrates would be oligosaccharides. They are made up of 2 to 10 monosaccharides bonded together. An example of those would be vegetables like spinach or milk. The third class of carbohydrates would be polysaccharides. Poly meaning many. An example of this could be sugar once again. They contain more than 10 residues, meaning they could have 11, 12, or 13 residues. It could go on and on. The Example would be a complex carb like bread. Complex carbs give you sustained energy as opposed to a simple carb which would give you just quick energy. Now looking at it through a chemistry class perspective, you see the three groups of carbohydrates. You have your monosaccharides. This is one sugar molecule of glucose. If you take two sugar molecules, two to ten of them, you would get an oligosaccharide two molecules linked together with one glycosidic bond will make a different type of sugar, like milk. This is lactose. If you were to link together 10 or more monosaccharides, you get a polysaccharide or a starch, like bread. It goes on and on and on. Polysaccharides such as these are sustained energy because they need to be broken down into monosaccharides. Now that we have seen what an important role carbohydrates play in human life, we will see how this energy is made. Plants take it in the sun to make a starch, like a polysaccharide. Then we as humans eat that starch as well as other forms of glucose. After that, we break down polysaccharides into monosaccharides for ATP. Then glucose is the basic source of energy for all living things. Therefore, without carbohydrates, there would be no life on Earth. Sugar.